Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and we are the Karanjas. And if you're new here, Karibu Sana. For those who are subscribed to our YouTube channel, thank you so much. For those who are watching and have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that every time we upload a new content, you will be the first one to be notified. Okay, and... What? What, are we, what are we doing? What are we doing today? <laughs> so we are so excited for the DV program is open online now. So the website opened yesterday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we are so happy. Yeah. The time is here now. Finally. Finally, we are here. Finally, we are here. <laughs> so what we're going to show you today is the whole process yes. of the real application form now mm -hmm. we're gonna do it the actual live application yes so we are doing a live application of the dv yes. lottery yes yeah so you you can go with us as you apply your own yeah. it's up to you and you, we wish you guys yeah we luck. wish you and yeah we love you guys so yeah and <laughs> before we even start thank you thank you so much we have gotten a lot of love from all over the world. Yeah. People from Ghana, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Poland, yeah. India. <laughs> Welcome to the family. I we know. are so happy. I think Saudi Arabia. Yeah, Saudi Arabia, so many, so many countries. Yeah. And we are so happy that you guys are here. Yeah. We are happy to take you through this journey. And mm -hmm. all we can do is wish you. All the, the best. best and good luck. luck. Yeah, yeah, let's go to the computer and we can start yeah. going through the form yeah. and showing you the real website that mm -hmm. the application is done because there are so many scammers I have noticed. Yeah. Yeah, there are so many scammers out there bringing you a website that is not real. Yeah. So we want to show you the real website, how to go about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we are hoping you're going to come with yeah. us. So. <laughs> let's go let's go so guys on your web browser we're gonna be using google today it's much easier and it's accessible to everyone you can use safari if you want to or other program program dot state dot gov So you're gonna find that. So here we are on the first page, the electronic diversity visa program, our state department website for 2025 visa program application is now open. So you can see all that information and it starts from 12 p.m. for October to 12 p.m november 7th so that is the only time you can be able to do your submission so we go down we have the instructions all those are the instructions we've been talking about on the other videos so you can go to the other videos and watch the instructions we go to the photo example we have done videos about how to edit your photo if you're still having a problem with your photos you know we are helping a lot of people edit their photos yeah at the moment we have done 200 photos edited already so on the third one is where you begin your entry so you click begin entry on the first page you have to to do the authentication code just to make sure the person feeling is a human being and not a robot so you fill it in if you are having trouble seeing that you can come here and change the, the set of numbers and or you can use the speaker down here to hear your information so you hit submit and you are now in the entry form so the entry form have on the right it says the electronic diversity visa form on the right hand 
is the OMB control number. That is the specific number for your form that nobody else have. And it says this form expires on the 8th, 31st, 2025. So we continue to the part one. So part one, remember, remember you are starting with your last name. Your last name is your family name. So like here for me, my family name is Patrick. And then my first name, if you have a first name, that's where you're gonna fit it in. If you don't have a first name on that box, you click on the box so that you can be able to skip the first name. But since we have one, we're gonna go ahead and fill the first name as James. And then we go to the next one is the middle name. The middle name, if you have a middle name, you fit it in there. If you don't have a middle name, you click there. For our case, we are not going to click there because we have a middle name. Our middle name is Kamau. So number two, you choose whether you are male or female. I am a male, so I click on male. We go to the date of birth. The date of birth, mine is 10, 27, 27. and the year is 1978. So on this date of birth, you have to be very careful about what you are filling in because most countries start their this date of birth the other way. They start with the day, month, and then year. In the United States, we start with the month, day, and then year. So the form is using what United States do. So we are starting with the month, the day, and the year. Be very, very careful when filling in those. You don't want to make any error on this form. It will cost you later. So where you are born, this is the city where you are born. So most people have a problem with this part and i'm going to be very specific you are writing the place where you are born it is on your birth certificate or you if you have a passport travel document it is on there that is what you're putting in here you're not thinking where it is information that you have in your documents so for me it's kiambu that's what is on my birth certificate kiambu if you don't know the city you click unknown we continue to number five country where you were born i was born in kenya very beautiful country so kenya country of your eligibility so in most cases, the country of eligibility is based, is where you were born. So in my case, it is Kenya. So I'll say, are you claiming your eligibility based on the country where you were born? And I'll click yes. If you're not claiming your eligibility on the country where you were born, that's when you're going to say no and then select which country it's down here. But for me, I am doing yes. So there are only there are other ways where you can go here and get the explanation of the other ways you can be eligible if you come from a country that is not eligible. One way is if your spouse is the principal applicant, they can be able to include you as a beneficiary and you can still relocate with them, but you have to relocate with them the same time if they are lucky to win the green card. You have to relocate with them the same time. So the other one is using your your parents' place of birth for eligibility. And if you click on the explanation, you'll get all that explanation just in case you need more clarification. Number seven, we have choose your photo. So remember the photo have to meet all the requirements. Number eight is the mailing address. Some people too have a problem here. And I want to clarify too. If you don't have a mailing address, you can use an address of a place near you, like a church, a primary school, a secondary school, 
and then you can say in care of and then the address of that place for me since i have an address i'm not gonna use the in care of i'm just gonna go straight there and say my address is 436 go to the second line the d the city is karimoni district juja postal code is zero one thousand and one and then the country is kenya so you come and choose your country there so country where you live today this is the country where you are applying from or where you are currently based and i'm still based in kenya for this one for this application and then the phone number is optional you don't have to include it so you can skip that number 11 is the email address very important so your email address have to be correctly written so like for me i'm just gonna use this email address here john patrick at gmail.com and then you have to confirm the email address down there john patrick at gmail.com so you can see how important the email is that's why you have to confirm to make sure the email match so the next one is what is the highest level of education you have achieved as of today we have the primary school only that is when you have gone to primary school only you have not gone further than primary school high school no degree you have gone to primary school finished gone to high school but you didn't graduate high school the other one is high school no degree you have graduated high school vocational school have gone to a vocational school some university courses you have gone to university but you have not completed university university degree you have completed university degree some graduate level you have completed university degree and you are continuing with some graduate courses but you have not graduated master's degree that is when you have a master's degree and you have graduated some doctorate level courses you have a master's and some doctorate courses but you have not graduated doctorate degree you have graduated doctorate degree for me it's high school degree and we go down this is where you have your marital status you are either married married and my spouse is not a u.s citizen or a lawful permanent resident so if you are married and your spouse is not a u.s citizen or a lawful permanent resident you're gonna click there that is where i'll click for this application so married and my spouse is a u.s citizen if your spouse is in the u.s and a citizen that's what you're gonna do divorced widowed legally separated and for legally separated you can enter your spouse's information if you wish to but it doesn't make any difference it will not make him move with you if you are legally separated and the court there is a court order then your spouse is not gonna be part of your beneficiary on that so we got the number of children i'll say one on this application so children include your biologically biological children legally adopted children and step children who are unmarried and the age of 21 on the date you submit this entry you must include all eligible children even if they don't live with you or if you do not intend to apply for a diversity visa as you der derivative as your derivative 
failure to list or eligible children is a ground for disqualification so you see how serious that can be you have to list all your children whether they are adopted stepchildren or your biological children and they are unmarried and under the age of 21 on that day you are applying so after that we're gonna go to next so on the next part this is where it's gonna give you your information about your spouse so i'll fill in the information about my spouse the last name so the last name of the spouse is Mwangi and then first one is Fail. Don't forget the order of the names and the middle name is Washera. So on this one you're starting with the last name as the other one first and middle if you don't have the first name remember there is a box there you can click if you if you don't have the middle name there is a box you can click on the date of birth she was born in 07 22 1981 and then she's a female the spouse should be a female and then city where your spouse was born let's say it's in Vika country where your spouse was born Kenya we are using Kenya in our example here and then it will require a photo for your spouse so you will choose a photo here okay and then we're gonna go to the children so we have children here we have the first the last name first and the middle don't forget it is always the last first name and the middle so the last name is the last name of the child is patrick then the middle name is Johnston. John. Then in the middle is Stone. So Patrick John Stone, date of birth, this ten fifteenth twenty thirteen male. And then the city of birth is in Nairobi, Nairobi, Kenya. Country is in Kenya. So we come down until where Kenya is. And then a photo of, and then you say continue to the next page. So the next page is just a summary page. This is where you are going to come and confirm all the information that you filled on the form is correct. This gives you another chance to confirm all the information before you hit the submit button. So if you make sure all the information is right, you're gonna then hit the submit button, which is down here. I'm not gonna submit because this entry is not an entry I want to be valid. So yeah, so after hitting submit, you will get a confirmation number and please print that confirmation number because that number is the one you are going to use when next year May comes to check your results. The confirmation number need to be printed, downloaded, keep it in a safe place so that you can be able to use it next time. Yeah, I think that's all for the form for today. Guys, 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 I hope you are going with 
that's through the form yeah. you see all the questions that have been asked nothing have changed so much as we told you before you don't need the passport travel document in the 2025 so don't let that be a limit yeah yeah so yeah we are happy and yeah we wish you again all the I best no akiwo yeah and please, <laughs> yeah. please 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 before you submit the paper check yeah. uh, rudia repeat two three times check if everything is correct yeah no errors no, no errors, errors please. yeah please no yeah. errors all yeah. the information they are asking you have them yeah and if you don't have like the address mm -hmm. just use an address of a place like a church near you an address of a place like a primary school near mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. so that cannot be a remit not to a price so not everybody have an address yeah yeah but that is not a remit yeah they will not be sending you any mail so mm -hmm. yeah. and again if you're having trouble answering the questionnaire right now yeah. please let us know mm -hmm. we'll guide you we'll go through again with you yeah so don't feel like you're limited no yeah and there's and always a room for questions right yes so. and before we even finish <laughs> we have already edited 200 photos i know yeah and it was all for free by the way yeah guys. it's all for free yeah don't let anybody tell you you have to pay anything yeah. you have noticed some scammers coming on the comments guys, stop that yeah stop <laughs> that we are not here to charge you no, anybody i think we are blessed yeah we are blessed yeah we don't need to do yeah. that to anybody no so feel free if your photo is not good send it we're gonna create time for you yeah. and edit that photo and yeah. send it back to you yeah and that's all for today yeah until next time see, see ya, ya.